Hey guys, Sukhani here. Today we're going to be solving this problem, area of a region bounded by x is equal to a t squared and y is equal to a t between t is equal to 1 and t is equal to 2. So in order to do this, I'm not a really big fan of these parametric equations. I like my equations in y is equal to something x. So let's get rid of this t over here. So from y is equal to 2 a t, I'm going to find the value of t, which is just going to be y over 2 a. And I'm going to plug this value of t into this equation over here. So I have x is equal to a t squared, as in the question. I found that t is equal to y over 2 a, and I just plug that in right over here. And now I can start simplifying. So once we have simplified, I'm left with x is equal to y squared over 4 a. Once again, I like my equations in y equals something x, so I'm just going to say y squared is equal to 4ax, and I'm going to stop right there because I know that this is a sideways parabola. So this is how our parabola looks, but now this equation is in terms of x, but this is in terms of t, so we have to change this in terms of x. No worries for us, we know that x is equal to a t squared, so when t is equal to 1, we know x is equal to a times 1 squared, which is just a times 1, which is just a. Same thing for when t is equal to 2. x is equal to a times 2 squared, which is just 4a. So our lower and upper bounds are going to be a and 4a respectively. And on the graph, we can say that this is a and this is 4a. And we are trying to find this area right over here. In order to do that, we need to know the value of y. That's easy for us. We know that y is equal to square root of 4ax, so we can just write square root 4ax dx, but this only gives us the area of the region above the x-axis, but we need it, the region above and below the x-axis. So we're just going to multiply this by 2 because the area over here is equal to the area over here, so we just do 2 times. Now, let's simplify. And this is our final answer.